Let's read the definition of the polygon to your neighbor. Go. It is a blob. So what's the minimum number of sides? Three? Why not two? Because it says three, I like that. If it's two, it's gonna be an, um, an angle. Okay, it could be, it'll, it'll be an angle. So I want you to give me three bullet points. And I'm gonna summarize a polygon. Polygon must be a straight edge. And then it must not intersect. It must not cross. And it must close. There must not be a gap. So with your neighbor, let's determine which of the following are polygons. Go, circle them. And there are more than one. Do we agree? Yeah. Yep. All right, let's talk about convex. Without defining convex, I'm gonna actually show you what com convex is. So uh, look at the second figure and I want you to put a dot around the vertices. Are all the do dots pointing outward? Are they all pointing outward? That's convex. If any part is not pointing outward, it's gonna be called a concave. So in this case, what part in this figure is pointing inward? Right there. That right there is gonna cause it to be concave. Kinda of like caves are pushed in. So then, um, Andrew, I want you to read from here. Another name. And then underneath it? Yeah, keep going. What do we think? If it is non-convex, it must be con? Very good. So we should all know how to, how to um, name all the sides of a triangle, not a triangle, of a polygon. If I have a three-sided image, it's, it's called a triangle. And then if I have four-sided image, what is it? A square. Hmm. Quadrilateral. Quadrilateral, very, go very good. Quadrilateral. Make sure you know how to spell this. Okay, let's spell quadrilateral like three times on the top margin. Go. If you want to close your eyes and write it, that'd be nice. Just write it, write it, write it. Looking at it alone does not mean enough. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. All right, five-sided image is called a what? Pentagon. What about six-sided image? Hexagon. The guys in the back, are we ready? Yes. Let me happily record, okay? All right, seven-sided image kind of um, typically students get wrong. What is it? Septagon. Septagon? No, it's heptagon with the H. It sounds like it makes sense because it's seven. I get it, but it should be heptagon. An eight-sided image is called a what? Octagon. Nine-sided image, nonagon. And if you did not know before um, today, it's okay. And then 10-sided image is called a? Decagon. Decagon. And then we're like, well, what happened to the 11? I don't know. 12-sided image, it's called the dodecagon. So then, let's talk about something else that's missing. Everything else that's missing from here is called 
Whatever that number, gone. And it's funny, it is gone, right? No? No one got the joke? 11 gone? Now I could even say 50 gone, 100 gone, and so on. So if it's not one of these that are listed, I'm just gonna say that number gone. What's up? What's up? That's on the Yeah, if, if it's got 50 sided image, it'll be a 50 gone. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and box regular polygon. Put a big star next to it. A, a regular polygon means I have all the angles are the same and all the sides are the same. Kind of like equilateral triangle, okay? So polygon that is equilateral and equilateral means all sides are congruent and then all the angles being congruent it's called the equiangular angular maybe that word might be kind of new to you guys too so spreadly let's read the next line and fill in the blank so if it's Three-sided polygon that is regular must be equilateral triangle. Then Hannah, let's read the next row and fill it in. Very good, square. And if you're like, why is that? Let's draw it. Here's my equilateral triangle for the previous one. All the angles are the same. All the sides are the same. And then if I make my square, all the angles are right angles. And all the sides are congruent. So then we have to start memorizing formulas. So here I go. Let's put a star next to this one. Make sure you memorize. I will make a flashcard. Put it on your phone, I don't know. Of course not at school. So we have sum of the interior angle is equal to, it is always 180 times n minus two. And then we have our second formula. Also you must memorize. If I say instead of the sum, I ask you for each interior angle and this only applies to a regular polygon regular polygon it is 180 times n minus 2 divided by n so we're going to apply these two formulas back and forth all right hogan let's read number three So I want the sum, and if I have a convex heptagon, that means my n is equal to how many? Ooh. Seven. Seven. So I'm looking for sum. So I'm going to circle something here. If I see the word sum, I'm going to use a um, formula on the right. If I see the word each, use the formula on the left. So this one's asking us for the sum, so I need to use that formula. Let's start by writing out the formula. Sum of the um, interior angle is 180 times n minus 2. We know our n, 180 times 7 minus 2. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and type that in. Should be a clean number of how many? 900. All right, Tegan, let's read number four. So what was my keyword here? Each. So we're looking at the left formula. And it says each interior, and we have a regular decagon. So what is my N? 10. So let's write out the formula. Each interior angle is 180, N minus 2, divided by N. So in this case, we have... 180, 10 minus 2 divided by 10. Not good. Did you also check next door and then the little classes yeah. that's tucked in? Yeah. Thank you for checking.
<coughs> and because angles cannot exceed 180, they're always less than 180. So what number is this one? 144. So now let's move on to um, number five. For number five, it's quite tedious, so I'm only going to talk about it. First of all, what shape do I have? So I need to first figure out what is a sum. So my sum for this one is going to be of the interior angle. That's step one. It is 180 and minus 2. We know our n is 5. Someone plug that in. 5, how many? 40. And then step two, you're going to take all the angles around. Add them up. We're going to add it and equal that to 540. And you'll find the x. Again, it's quite tedious, so I'm not going to go over that one. Okay? We're just talking about it. Okay, we have two more formulas. Put a star. And again, memorize this formula. Now, if we talked about some of the interior, what do we not talk about? Some of the exterior. Some of the exterior angle is always 360 no matter what. There's not a variable in it. So then, if I have some of the exterior, there should also be each exterior. So again, another one to memorize. Each exterior angle is equal to 360 over n. And again, this only pertains to a regular polygon. So how many formulas should you end up memorizing by the end of the day? Four. Now I'm going to go ahead and prove this to you with an equilateral triangle. If you want to use this figure, you may. I don't want to. So draw yourself an equilateral triangle. And we know there's 60 all the way around. And then I want you to extend the um, exterior. Because I'm going to prove to you why it's 360. So this, side, this together must be 180, right? So isn't that 120 all around? What is 120 times 3? 360. 360. Now let's compare this to a square. Make you a square. And I want you to put in that squares are 90 degrees. And then I want to go ahead and kind of fan it to draw the exterior. So if I know the interior is 90 and it's a linear pair, that um, adjacent angle must be what? 90, let's go 90 all the way around. And what is 90 times four? Again, 360. That's gonna happen no matter what, no matter what shape it is, which is kind of interesting. So, um, Blake, let's read the next row and fill in the blank. So some of the exterior is always what? 360, boom. Okay, number six. Uh, Pingleton, let's read. Find the measures in each exterior angle to a regular bond, bond decagon. Dodecagon. So dodecagon has how many sides? 12. Let's see our keyword. I see the word each exterior. So which formula am I using, left or right? On the right. So let's write on here each Exterior angle is 360 over n. So we have 360 over 12. That should be doable by head, right? In our head? I got 30. Can someone confirm? Yep. All right. Let's do two questions on your own and see how you do. With the partner, I want you to do number 9 and 10. Go.
Is that for 10, Spryly? Okay, let's go over number nine. Hopefully you knew to use a formula that had to do with the sum in the interior. It says the sum is 540. So I'm gonna plug that in, into this guy right here. 540, 180, and minus two. And then you use your algebra one skills, or I, know, I heard some of you guys saying distribute 180 to each side, that's fine, okay? But I'm, I'm gonna take a shortcut. 540 divided by 180. And then all I need to do is add two. That also works out, okay? So if it's a five-sided image, what is the name of that image? Pentagon. Pentagon. For number 10, it says each exterior is 120. So I'm plugging this guy in for the each exterior. Whoop, 360. And we can apply that rule where we have what? Swap. So we have n is equal to 360 over 120. And that will be a three-sided image called a what? Triangle. Triangle. 